It still fascinates me. The incredible beauty of the universe. I call it a marathon and not a sprint. We never wanted to be in second place. Whatever I wanted to do, I felt that I could do it. Astronomer Jim Gunn revolutionized our understanding of how galaxies are formed. Actually, astronomy is maybe one of the easier things to do because everyone looks at the sky. Gunn's ingenuity and vision, first with the Hubble Space Telescope and later with the Sloan Digital Sky Survey, have provided an entire new generation of astronomers with the opportunity to peer into the heavenly horizons. I really like designing equipment building it, but it's kind of sterile unless you have really something, some burning thing that you want to do with it. The Hubble had opened this history book on the universe. At the heart of Hubble's camera were silicon detectors, or CCDs, now found in every digital camera. The team of Gunn and Jim Westfall was the first to apply this nascent technology to astronomy. They continued to further the development of these sensors and in the process, revolutionized astronomy. People look at these wonderful Hubble photographs and are just overwhelmed by the beauty. In the late 80s, Gunn was faced with another question. He began to build again. This time, it was a survey of the sky. It seemed a terrible shame to me that we were beginning to know more about what the universe was like in its early history than we know about what it's like now. The design began in my head, actually, in 1987. What was clearly needed was uh, a survey which did not go necessarily very deep, but which covered as much of the sky as we possibly could, because we need to know what these marvelous things that we're looking at at these vast distances actually evolve into. The Sloan Digital Sky Survey has a 120 megapixel camera imaging 1.5 square degrees of sky at a time, about eight times the area of the full moon. Most telescopes are like telephotos. They magnify enormously, but only look at a very small little angular area. A survey telescope has a very big field. It's like a wide field lens on the sky. The sky survey is entering its third phase of scientific discovery, having already mapped almost one million galaxies, 120,000 quasars, and 225,000 stars. You know, we're put here on this planet and we have brains that allow us to think. One of the overwhelming questions that humanity has tried to deal with is some people say, why are we here? I, I don't think that's an answerable question, but, but how did we get here? I don't know how to get at these questions in any objective way except to do astronomy.